Problem number 31. By hand, find the solution set for the following system. So we have 4x plus y equals 3 and x squared plus 2y equals 6. And we have to find uh, the solution set. So in this case, it seems like substitution might be a good strategy. Um, so we can start um, by maybe solving this first equation for y. So we have 4x plus y equals 3. And so to solve for y, we could subtract 4x. So minus 4x minus 4x. These cancel, so you get y equals 3 minus 4x. Now we just take this and we plug it into the other equation. So we're going to plug it in here. So we solve for y in the first equation, and now we're going to plug it into the second. So when we do that, we get x squared plus, and then 2, and then y. So y is this whole piece here. So that's going to be our y. So it'll be parentheses 3 minus 4x equals 6. All right, let's keep going. We'll distribute the 2 now. So x squared plus, so 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times negative 4x is negative 8x. And all of this is equal to 6. Oh, this is nice. When you subtract the sixes, they go away, right? Everything cancels. So we get x squared minus 8x equals 0. So to solve this, uh, we can factor. So if you pull out an x, you get x parentheses x minus 8. So we have a product equal to 0. So we can set each factor equal to 0. So x equals 0, and then x minus 8 equals 0. So here you get x equals 8. OK, so these are not the answers. The answers to this problem are ordered pairs. OK, so what we do now is we take each of these and we plug it into one of the equations. Usually you pick the simplest looking one. It's not going to make much of a difference in this problem, but let's just go ahead and use the first equation. So let's do each one individually. So first we'll do x equals 0. So I'll do it up here. So when x equals 0, we're going to put it into the first equation. So we get 4 times 0 plus y equals 3. So we get y equals 3, right? Because 4 times 0 is 0, so you get 0, you get 0 plus y equals 3, so y equals 3. So when x is 0, y is 3. So that gives us one answer. So 0, comma, 3. That should be one of the solutions. Now we have to do the other value of x. So when x equals 8, we get 4 times 8, again, plugging it into the first equation, plus y equals 3. So 32 plus y equals 3. Subtract 32, so you get y equals negative uh, 29, right? Minus 32, minus 32. 3 minus 32 is negative 29. So we have 8, comma, negative 29. So parentheses 8, comma, negative 29. And that is the other solution. So I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.